Oh, it's a world you have to live in. Oh! Oh! You just oh. gave me. Oh! <laughs> wow! Okay. So I can oh, right. lie. I'll, I'll just That's lie fitting. to the audience and say that it's great being an Anglophone living in a French-dominated area of the world. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, well. All right. And am I living? I'm living today, right? I'm I'm living in the same world, same place, but in a world where the first crusade never happened. Oh, that's, that's a hard. little hard. That's a that's little real, hard. I'll yeah. give it a crack. I'll give it a go. I guess um, with mine, mine's would be Trotsky. Mm -hmm. So, oh, yours is honestly very interesting. that. Yeah, mine's is very, mine's is pretty much just modern leftism <laughs> changing. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, okay, I okay. can do that. Yeah. That's, that's... So we need to establish what happens in our scenario. Craig, bump this up to two minutes. Okay. On the on the main arguments at least, because we'll need to establish what our scenario is like and then uh why it would be better for us to live in it. Why would it be better? Is that the yeah, is that the plot? Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. It has oh. to be, yeah. <laughs> So let me let me let me follow it through. First Crusade, Northern Ireland. Oh my God, I got a lot to say for this. But I gotta tone down the Quebec stuff. <laughs> uh, man, I got it. I got it. So we're basically creating an alternate history, and we're just yes. gonna like make it like flowery and nice. Yes. It's it's propaganda from the perspective of that alternate timeline. So it's just I I'm gonna go hard on the French here and apologize in advance to all of our French viewers. But you probably hate us already because of Craig, so it's fine. Yeah, mange la mer de style tabernacle. I'm ready to go. All right, go for it. Two minutes of creating your world. <laughs> When discussing what would have to happen differently in our world if there were no crusades, there's many ways you can go. But I'm going to go for a little bit of different one that, that you probably haven't heard. Think about this. Most of the crusades uh, happened because of French knights. And all of these French knights, instead of fighting for France and their king and doing all these dynastical disputes in France, obviously killing each other, but also killing a lot of Englishmen and Holy Roman Empire and Italians and Spaniards, uh, it's going to have a big impact taking them all from the Levant and putting them right back to France. They have no nothing to do in the in the East. They're chilling in France. And what happens? France becomes a Carolingian European massive superpower. With all of that manpower, elite, well-equipped, rich manpower to spend in conquests uh, into Germany, into Italy, into Spain, into England even. France had a stronger navy. People forget they did make it into england people forget we would be living in a absolutely francophone world and just imagine that just close your eyes for a little bit and think of how it will work how the whole world would look like if it's more like quebec terrible and um no i mean amazing no i mean amazing i would love to I would actually love to fuck i forgot i would love to live in this world because all of the dark ages are now gone France creates a renaissance in the 12th century. <laughs> Europe is unified. Culture <laughs> springs open because there's less dynastical disputes and murdering everyone. Uh, you have a Carolingian empire spanning Western and Central Europe. And it's like a Pax Mongol, Pax Francia. And instead of fighting each other, they, <laughs> they go do science. They discover the new world much earlier. And we're living 300 years in the future right now because the Crusades don't, don't happen. I would love to live in this world. Thank you, France. Thank you for not spending so much time and power and money into a lost cause in Jerusalem and building a better world. Done. Thanks, France. <laughs> All right. So, I, I mean, I, I totally guess, forgot the question. I guess I'll follow it up because mine kind of goes in the same direction. <laughs> so, yeah. What? It's just French posting now. That's all this is. Just pour commencer, là. Tout ce que je dis, c'est no, it's not okay. Okay. Just all right. Oh God, you have to argue this. So uh, Montcalm isn't an incompetent, complete asshole. 
And he actually uses the natives and the Quebecois to fight an effective war like his predecessor, the, the Prussian general there, who actually did a good job. And uh, he not only defeats Wolf, like he defeats the entire forces of the colonies down south with 10% of the population. And then the, the French Empire defeats <laughs> everybody else in Europe with the navy that they had. And uh, yeah, it goes super well. And um, with only 10% of the population of Nouvelle France, the colonies down south just listen to them and they accept Roman Catholicism and the new law system because we have a different law system than the English. And it's more codified. So there's a lot more laws and it's great. And a lot of people are happy. Better language. And uh, since the French are incapable of controlling the colonists, they're just too happy to have a revolution because they don't need one because the French can't overly tax them like the dicks that are the British. <laughs> and yeah. the French Revolution doesn't happen because everyone just loves the monarchy because they made the most incredible victory in human history. <laughs> and Napoleon nice. comes a king. Like, sure, because he has nothing else he can do. And there's no napoleonic wars so there's a lot more people and everybody's eating french food so yeah everybody's happy and then the franco the community the francophonie is much bigger so everybody gets to learn a language that's the most difficult thing to write and that even the <laughs> french can't freaking write their own language but it's great and everyone is good <laughs> i'm done oh my god yo i'm like, like not gonna be able to leave my house this is this, we're done that, we're done that was, we can call that was this like, the devil's advocates podcast <laughs> that was like that shot. scene where they had to keep the eyes open in clockwork orange do you speak english parlez-vous anglais excuse me or i'm sorry excusez-moi yeah. just like look at a stare at a french flag that's all that was oh my oh, god yeah god. yeah oh man um how do how can I I can't I can't top that um I would okay so I guess okay Lenin uh <laughs> Lenin takes over instead of Stalin um I would say this is actually a better timeline for for two groups uh probably capitalists and revolutionary leftists because <laughs> under Trotsky say he doesn't isolate himself from like literally everyone and just you know, make horrible plans that just end up getting him ice picked. Um, I would say if the USSR is under his Trotskyist ideology and it's a lot more decentralized and it's not as authoritarian, that's, I guess that's good for capitalists, but it's not good for capitalists because Trotsky would also be incredibly revolutionary and would be just burning using the funds of the soviet union to just spur revolutions worldwide so there's just two things one it makes the soviet union a lot more of a antagonist globally so that helps the capitalist side because then they can show that the soviets are bigger enemies and also it would undermine the soviet union because they would only be spending their money and time on revolutions which would cause the soviet union to collapse because that's what i'm getting at here if trotsky was in charge and not stalin the soviet union would not have lasted like it did like stalin was authoritarian and everything but he at least like built a nation state like he at least took the russian empire which was not even really a, a thing and he actually made a society that had cohesion it wasn't just a bunch of serfs if it was trotsky it would have been decentralized he would have spent all of any money they had on revolutions and then it would have just died which would have helped the capitalists and would have helped the leftists that really liked doing revolution and nothing else so um i guess if you like things happening very quickly and then collapsing very quickly this is a great place for you um and i i guess yay go trotsky Ooh, ice pick <laughs> so basically in summary if trotsky and the ussr don't work everything good yeah everything good yeah so it's good for capitalists because there's yeah. no more ussr because trotsky just yeah he messed it all up so <laughs> right so uh i i have a legitimate good counter go for it so
Why did America land on the moon? Because they got scared from Sputnik and the Soviet Union. Why did America like create all of this uh, liberty and freedom and capitalism? All of these things that <laughs> you described that we would be that would be better in our world today because they had an antagonist. You exactly said it, that your antagonist falls apart within a couple of decades. But with mm. but, but but you literally make the world worse because without that high competition, America just doesn't try uh, that harder. It phones it in. It goes like, ah, the moon, fuck it. Ah, global democracy, fuck it. We're just here. It, it's cool. Let's just chill here. There's no big antagonist to fight over there. Nah, no revolutions. Scratch the so the, the National Socialist Revolution in uh, in Germany because all of the things that Trotsky does uh, will fall apart. As for uh, Craig, yes, I am in full agreement with you. France is the best culture in the world, but my scenario would be better at establishing it than yours because you would have almost a millennia of creating it. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. oh, this is crazy. I, 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 okay. So Can yours I counter is... that? Oh, go for I it. I want yeah. to counter. I want to counter. Okay. You say go there's on. no heel. You say there's no big heel. And that's true. But one, who needs the moon? The moon... The moon's boring. There's just moon rocks up there. It's not cheese, so who needs that? Two, just because you don't have a good heel like in wrestling doesn't mean there won't be another antagonist. And throughout the 20th century, I would say that there's another nation probably a good antagonist just like Russia, especially if you're from Africa, France. So what I'm proposing is that in this alternate timeline, America's <laughs> enemy wouldn't be the Russians. It would instead be the French because now they're unchanged. There's no Russia to compete with them. There's no Britain's going to collapse as an empire and France is going to rise. And they're going to be the great menace for America to really unify Ooh. against. Why, and if why, in why does my scenario and Craig's scenario suck? Um, to live in? <laughs> why do they suck to live in? Because uh, they're not mine. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right. So I can attest to what it's like living under a French world. Oh my god, on a si continu comme ça. C'est même pas lui qu'on est connu. Ah ouais, si on veut un petit mot. I already do. It's all right. It's good food. You know? <laughs> but uh if Trotsky got to just spread all the, <laughs> the revolutionary stuff everywhere he might have contaminated quebec he might have contaminated france because <laughs> france almost went communist in world war one and that would have been awful because it would have ruined the experience that is the community de francophonie and all of the glory that comes with it as for gorgies without the crusades france won't become the french Frenchy version we know it today you have to have a few crusades you gotta break a few eggs before you know you make an omelette de fromage as you americans always say it's so weird that you say that so we need the crusades but what we don't need is we don't need the seven years of war going the way it did because the french nouvelle france deserved to win and it's all montcalm's fault because he sucked and he didn't appreciate natives or the quebec allies done yeah, you got to break a couple of eggs and holy cities and centers of the world. Yep, you got to break a few eggs. You got to pour it in a cake and you got to call it a quiche. And then you got to... <laughs> <laughs> How did this become oh. just French world? This is... The, <laughs> wow. Like, complete by random. Like, the choices are here. Like, I can tell you the numbers. Antarctica, no Mongols, no First Crusade, no Fourth Crusade, Trotsky, nuclear bomb, Britain, Pearl Harbor, Alexander. But the the dice, fate decided that we would pick these okay. choices. And it brought them in red, white, and blue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, this one's, I guess, 